hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you guys how to make oat banana bread so you can see me mixing the dry ingredients all the ingredients are in the are in the description box below so you can go and check them out i'll be showing the quantity and everything there so i just added the nutmeg cinnamon powder to the oat flour you can do the oat flour by just uh, blending up normal oats yeah so i'm adding the baking powder baking soda mixing everything up yeah. so after that you set the dry ingredients aside and start with the wet ingredients so for my banana bread I'm using about 12 pieces of banana for the banana it depends on you any amount you want you can add and you should use the very ripe ones as you can see in the video it makes it easier to mash and it gives it this sweet taste so because of that you don't have to use a lot of sugar in this recipe And I'll be mashing them with my potato masher. Yeah, it makes everything easier. But if you don't have this one, you can use fork to mash the banana. So after mashing the banana, we are going to add our eggs we are using two eggs for this recipe and you whisk it with your whisk so after it's mixing it with the banana we add our brown sugar we'll be using three teaspoons of brown sugar and i prefer the brown sugar to the white sugar because it gives it a great taste like the brown sugar does wonders so you can use brown sugar instead of the white sugar you mix it up and we are using three teaspoons of butter you can melt the butter before adding but i was in the hurry so i decided to use it like that and it's, uh, it's at room temperature so it was easy to mix you can use any butter of your choice you can yeah you mix it well then i add milk it's optional to add milk if you are not a fan of milk you can decide not to use the milk you can decide to use just water instead of the milk yeah 
yeah so i decided to add chocolate to my banana bread so i did not get the the chocolate chips so i decided to buy the bar ones and break it down with my knife but it's optional if you don't want chocolate in your mixture you can decide not to use it but i decided to use it others will decide to use raisins walnuts or any types of nuts in it so yeah we are about to add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients yeah please don't over mix but just let everything incorporate without over mixing and at some point if it becomes too thick you can decide to add more milk or water any of them goes and mind you by this time you should have preheated your oven for 250 to 250 degrees before starting the whole process yeah Yeah, and I forgot to add the vanilla essence to the wet ingredients, so this is me adding. I've coated my baking pans, and I'm distributing it into the pans now. Yeah. So this will go into the oven for about one hour. And after one hour, voila! This is my version of oat banana bread with chocolate. You can try this at home. Thank you.